Hey guys, how's it going? Exercise of the week. This week we're going to go back a little bit um, and cover something that's very basic, very simple, but is very important for a lot of exercises that I like to have my clients do and that I think should be a part of uh, any workout routine. Uh, and that exercise is the plank. So we've done a lot of other exercises in the past, or at least a few that I can think of, um, that use the plank as a foundation. And I think it's really important to emphasize that foundation even though for most of us doing planks is pretty simple and we do them all the time, we probably don't think much about the form, but to have those exercises that build off of the foundation be any sort of effective, we need to make sure that the foundation is uh, solid in, the, in and of itself. So we're gonna take a look at the plank, um, two variations of it today, the plank on your hands, uh, which you could also call the push-up position or what I call the forearm plank or some people also call the half plank. Um, where you're on your forearms in the plank position. Okay, so a couple things to think about while we're doing these. Um, obviously, the plank should be a core exercise whenever you think of them. You know, we're thinking core when we're doing the plank. But in addition to the core, we're also working on some shoulder stability. And hopefully that is apparent to you whenever you've done planks in the past. And that'll become more apparent to you as I show you a couple of the finer points on the plank that I think are important. So we're here at a beach. I don't even know what it's called. We're in Nanakuli somewhere. We've got the kids with me for spring break and we just happened upon this secret little cove that I've never seen before. Uh, it's pretty nice so we'll have that as our cool little backdrop today in our video. So let's get to this plank stuff. Okay so first of all with the plank what you want to do is make sure you set up on a nice flat surface. Okay and when you're doing the plank whether it's the um, full version that you see me doing here or the half version on your elbows that you'll see in a second we're trying to achieve a straight line position through the head all the way down to the feet no sinking of your hips toward the ground or bringing your butt up in the air okay nice straight position head to shoulders to hips to knees to feet now it's an abdominal exercise true but it's also shoulder stabilizing exercise so you saw my shoulders just kind of hunch and shrug there for a second what you want to do with the plank is avoid that and try to push your body away from the ground as you're holding yourself in the position okay so if you go from the full plank that we just did to a half plank where you're on your elbows it's kind of the same thing you want to avoid the hips sinking towards the ground and the butt coming up in the air as well and then also take care to make sure that your shoulder positioning is not shrugging up towards your ear, but shrugging away from your ears and your shoulders and your neck area, okay? Pushing your body away from the ground. Now, whether in the full or half plank position, you can actually pull your abs in a little bit tighter. And what that should do is create kind of a curve in your back and bring your hips up just slightly. But that's slightly different than um, the sticking of the butt up in the air that we talked about just a minute ago. Okay, so very again, again, very important are the planks to a lot of movements that are really, really effective for shoulders and abs and a um, bunch of different things that we do at our fit camp and personal training sessions. Um, whether you're here in Oahu or not, try this and make sure you've got some really sound plank position uh, so that you can have those other exercises that build off of the plank be as effective as possible. Okay, so again, that's a real simple exercise, but also very important exercise for your core, uh, which involves a lot of different areas of your body, not just your middle part of your abdominals that everybody likes to focus on, but everything that's interconnected with it above and below your in your body as well. All right, guys, try that out. Make sure that's a part of your workout routine regularly, and I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.